It all comes down to this final game for us to decide who will be making it to Berlin, Toby, who will be getting these final points, and who will be doing the damage they need to do to make sure that they don't have to go through the grueling contenders again and they do have a shot at getting into yeah. pre-EL. We saw the scoreboard. And, well, we know the math now. 17 points and Avangar with zero is what both Riddle and 4AK yep. will need in order to make it out of the bottom four. I'm just going to come out on a limb here and say, Ain't no stopping 4AK now. They're it on means a roll. they have been on a roll. The thing is that both the wins, I mean, the first one was five kills. Yep. Then they get seven kills. That's all good. But if you don't get your first kill until there's... Well, what was it now? It's 19 players alive. If you want to rack up seven of them, you're relying on, I mean, people coming to you. Because yeah. if you continue the play style, which have given them wins, it's amazing that they do so. They just need to guarantee those points. Could you imagine getting a six kill win now and still fall short? Oh. I mean, that would be so horrible. So, so sad to see. Why are you got to say it, Toby? Why are you got to say it? Because there's a chance that it could happen, right? If you get a five kill game, and you get a seven kill game, then why not get a six kill game as well? It's uh, it's gonna be interesting. And if you haven't got, well, no chance it's gonna stick to the usual final game. Are we gonna throw in any crazy shenanigans or is it all gonna be the same old, same old, same old? Well, at least for now, it seems like no big changes are coming in. Yeah, I think at this stage, right, if it's the final match, it's like, yeah, we're just all gonna stick to our guns, play it as mm. we expect to, yeah, and ride this one out. That is to be expected, and I think that's what's going to happen. Are we going to finish off with the, the last game of group stages with the Southern Island, James? I'm just saying. We could get a stupid finish no, off give us the two islands. <laughs> give us the two islands on the eastern could side. Could you imagine? I'm down. Just to, just to put, like, put, a, put a nail in the coffin and crazy circles we've had throughout this phase. Remember, we know Avangar got the tactics for the island mm -hmm. as well. Grab they, the boat. They know what to do. Get there early. They know what to do. Send Max to saw Astro in where it's been down on the far eastern side and position them. Ready to uh, to take it. That boom, he is uh, not with his team. I just realized that he is with Fix instead. <laughs> He's like, oh, guys, we're not when we're I'm dropping here. Oh, we've seen that circle so many times. So boring. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> close. It's, it's close. Just move a little yeah, bit south. A little Come on, a bit south. more. Give us the island. If Quick Math looted the islands, we would get an island ending. I'm just saying. Well, you know what we're gonna have to do next time we come and take quick math. We just tell them one go one game left. One just, game, just go there for me. Could please. you imagine? And then the circle goes there. Just and like, it's like, oh. and the thing is, imagine the circle going <laughs> central on the island, because that's land. And then, that's then how we would see like ninety percent of the circle in water exactly. or not. Exactly. Yeah, that would be dumb. Yes, that let's would actually go. be stupid. You'd love it. I don't even think it can go that far to the map. But in any case, that's what we'll leave for uh, leave leave for whenever it does happen. To, to prove to us. So the Nam, well, they're going to get themselves looted and they're sitting well in it right now. Don't really have too much to worry about. And even if they don't get the first place, they're still guaranteed a spot to go on through. And of course, the money are great, but there's much more on the line than $30,000 in this. Desperado, they, uh, well, I mean, they got them got a so good sell second place game last game. Unfortunately for them, didn't win it. Good for 4AK that they did, because that's going to allow for them to get that final chance. The last life left remaining. Last chance here to get into the... Uh, or out of, I guess I should say, the the bottom four. And it's unfortunate for them too, right? They finally get something going. Yep. It's just too late. I mean, it's it's got to be annoying for them that they couldn't get this momentum built up earlier, considering mm. how many games they had to play. It's like one of those things where the pressure's on and some teams just thrive better when the pressure's high, like you're saying, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then they're thinking, well, why couldn't we do this before? And it's because that pressure sometimes just drives your adrenaline crazy and you, you pull off what you would normally doubt yourself on or not confidently go for. Also, it could be something with other teams. I mean, if you're already guaranteed to be in the top and maybe the, the money difference doesn't matter too much to you, but you're guaranteed to be in. Yeah. Maybe you'll be a little more unprepared or maybe not as, well, I mean, as focused as you would be if you're 4AK now sitting okay. full focus on everything. Like we need to do everything right. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, if their hands aren't shaking right now, then I don't feel like <laughs> they want it enough. You know what I mean? Like they are full on committed to getting those 17 points and making it in right now. 
and other teams that are already in, they might be a little more, a little more like, oh, oops, I got knocked, hee <laughs> hee, and then, uh, then it's not really the biggest deal for them. So maybe that's uh, that helps them a bit too. Well, what we'll try and help Winside this time around is sticking together, managing to try and make this work, and not getting picked off by Perfectix, who was waiting on the roadside. He's not able to connect the shot, so he was a bit too close, I think, for that one. That drive-by was yeah. like, whoa, I can't follow this. Should have started shooting earlier. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out for him. And having gone now far up on the northeastern side, once again, they'll be close to the circle. Last time, they were trying to rotate all the way around it. Sneaky snakes came in and bit their toes. And, uh, well, this time around, they have plenty of room to work with. But where do they go? What do they do here? Do they go center or not? Hmm. There's actually, like... They've got the room now. They can go take mm -hmm. around Al Azahar. Yeah, because P2 has been going over there before. They've decided yeah. to go up to La Cobraria, so there's plenty of room for them to uh, try and make place over there. And La Cobraria is normally the 4 AK spot, so obviously they've mm -hmm. done Montenuevo as well, but they've had a, a slight change within this. Yeah, I don't think 4 AK are going to take any chances no. in any of this. I mean, if they see people jump out early, nope. They're just going to... I just could not go. So a Euro looking to try and blow it up, but it escapes him. The rest of his team go to jump it. Oh, Miss is just going for it again on the bike. <laughs> yep, why not? <laughs> go on, mate. <laughs> they have been the full pull-up team. At least when it came to crazy vehicles done so over the last two games. So why not pull it up for third? And I've loved what we've seen from Quick Map over this week. Yeah. Just a different style again. Also, I love that we see them get into late game time and time again, even though they don't get circles. Yeah. I mean, that is... Uh, they just don't get circles, but they never get circles that way. Quick Math never gets circles? No, that is true. That is true. I'm talking <laughs> about another team also called Quick Math. Magnet Math. Yeah, Magnet Math, exactly. Quick ma Quick Magnet. That could be the new name, Quick Mag. Quick Mag, I like yeah, that. I like that. Maybe. And... Um, well, for Seekers, they've decided that the circle is going to go east, so they're going to sit themselves out there. Maybe they've decided that it won't, and then they're saying, you know, we like playing the edge, but we're so close to it right now, that it would be rude not to take somewhat of a spot. Windside cannot catch a break. Mm -hmm. Wherever they go, more action is coming their way, running into every single team, and that's an easy pickup for Desperado to take an initial kill. And it's an unfortunate way to start a game that you really, really, really needed to do well in if you wanted to have any kind of chance of making it to Berlin, but uh, of course it shouldn't discourage the rest of the guys. They did have a good showing in the first game, 11 kills second place, and well, I mean, there's a good chance they can get things going, but one team that especially cannot afford this is Havoki in 4AK. Knocked player now, no finish-offs coming in so far, but this is tough. Yeah, getting the Legion. Managing to catch him off guard quickly. The team are trying to come in to defend Havoki. I'd love if we put this on the main screen mm -hmm. to work out how close this is all going to be because Ronnie Cray is rolled up. The smoke's going to go down. Northrest is still rotating around. Valan's seeing a lot of this from a distance. He's understanding where they could be playing from. And it seems like Game of Legion don't quite want to push on it just yet. Yeah. I guess that's fortunately for 4 AK. They do get to live with the scare. But also, I mean, in all honesty, if they want to go more aggressive, even though um, Game of Legion are way up there, I mean, kill points wise and yeah. leaderboard wise, they are one of the teams over the last two days that have been struggling in engagement. Certainly. So if you want to take a fight early on, they know it's them. So if you want to take a fight early, that will be the fight to take. It's just, it's a, it's not going to be, like, they need to win. They need the placement points. They cannot risk, even if they do get three, four kills out of this, to lose two players, because that's going to mean that there's no way in hell they're getting those placement points with it. So backing off, rotating wide and far out into the blue, wise place by 4 k and remember, every kill they see a team like Riddle or Avangard gets just makes their chances harder and harder yeah. to happen. The good thing, at least if you are a fan of 4AK, is that Avangard and Basictus will most likely meet up <laughs> on their rotations <laughs> round. That's new. It's not something we used to see. Basictus and Avangar finding each other. Just for old times' sake, we get all the bad habits in again. You know, <laughs> that's uh, I like the, I like the way I've said it. Like it's just just finishing off the phase. Now Rita trying to escape on a bike. Running around trying to find a spot to hide <laughs> within because <laughs> this is it, right? We're not even that far into this and nope. there's still very limited options of where you might want to go here. Four, okay, they're going to come in from the south here. They've been playing the northern side in the previous couple of games. They had the northwest side in the last one and the far northern one in the one before that. So now being on the south, well, I mean, it's still in its position. It's just a little different terrain. Now we'll see if they can 
besieged us. Wow. Okay. They um, they said they knew the circle was going to go east. And did that. <laughs> that was <laughs> perfection for besieged yeah. us in planning that one out. For 4AK, though, it's not all that bad. The way they'll be rooting their way in. Yes, mm. they'll be one of the final teams to get there, but it will give them a chance. Rita still driving around, still trying to find a spot for her team, but it's not going to happen. She's going to yeah. go down, and Jupes is the one to deal the damage. You've been driving for so long. Everyone's heard that vehicle drive around, and you will be found now. Asherin gets found as well. We talked about Basik just having up, potentially yeah. getting into an engagement, and... It's going to be him knocked, and seems like the finisher will come in as well. He's going to drop all his loot, but he will go down, and that's going to be good both for Riddle and for the 4AK guys, because, well, I mean, that is indeed the team they're trying to deal with. Now, does Basik just still trying to deal more damage onto Avangar here? We know they love to meet up in these scenarios. Oh, Derek rolling on through, and oh no, the crash comes in. A lot of damage done. Donator gets a grenade out. Already wasted all of his ammo trying to do this. Gifted Roos also got involved <laughs> into the party. Oh no! no. How are you going to allow that to happen, <laughs> Winside? Where's the communication? <laughs> Gifted Roos like, oh, kills, let's get involved. Boom, oh no. No. Fortunately, for well, I, I say this, but Riddle is actually coming over now. I was going to say, fortunately, they don't lose any players. But look at this. Both 3D Dome and Riddle are coming over now. Ru gifted what? <sighs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes may cost you a lot in this game. Gifted Ru back on the floor. The Nato trying to hide in the smoke now. Moon's got a bit of cover, but not too much to work with. And Cliv, he is scoping all of this out. It's just Cliv and Hanny here, but they can do a lot of damage onto both We Need a Home and Windside if they're not careful. They just duck their own. There's no other way around it. I mean, I don't, I don't mind him trying to f get the finish off, but don't drive in there when your teammates are throwing nades in that direction. Communication. That is exactly it. Communicate, guys. Communicate, communicate. It's, it's the key to success. It really is, especially in a game where information is as crucial as it is in this one. Information is everything. Communication is needed if you want to succeed. And that's what it's going to come down to. Windside, they'll be kicking themselves after that one because there was no real benefit to all of that action. And now only Moon remains. Avangard just got himself a knock onto Nemrith. Of course, there's still more players than Avangard to be dealt with. But should that be a finish off? It's going to be 18 instead of 17 points needed. And every single point here, of course, as we keep saying, could be the ultimate difference. An octave knocked by into Lenzo from a distance. That's going to make things tough. You can see Max is always just running around. He wants to get the flush, but he doesn't know where Nimrith crawled to. Yeah, Max also can't poke out too far, especially mm. with Quick Map looking over towards him. Tox too far away as well. Quick Map looking to do some damage and get a bunch of kills early on here. These does go down, so PG taking some casualties from the distance there, unfortunately. Quick map, they are centering on the precision themselves to get some rotation kills, and it worked out for them. Now, next circle, though, where are we going to go? The entire eastern side, the whole uh, sponge looking thing you'd have over there is inaccessible terrain. So it's going to count as a water shoot. This one shift east as well. An octave is going to go down, and we go hard down south. PG now out early on. We keep saying it, they were sitting in third at one point, and sure mm -hmm. they will make it in now, but things were getting too close, and that's just, I mean, considering that the level is only going to get harder yep. for what they're going to be in for next weekend. It, you cannot go into that with this performance. You would have wanted better things. Things will have to change around when it comes to it. If they do want to strut their stuff when it comes to Berlin. Quick math now rotating into the circle. They're going to leave that fight they were having with Avangar, but Avangar have lost a lot in this. Only Max is all on top for main, by the mm -hmm. looks of it. Max is all didn't get the flash either. I believe... Maybe he did, actually. No, he, yeah, he uh, picked up the okay, PJ yep, team player. Okay, so he did get one, which means that it's eight kills and a win now for either Riddle or 4AK to make it in. And 4AK have only just got inside the circle, just mm -hmm. to add to that. They're down on the far southern side. They have room, though. They have room to maneuver yeah. around, and they have the hills up as well, so it should be a pretty well in it, at least for now. But, of course, the circle could shift back up north, and this road could be the difference maker and all of that. Frank trying to spot out and see if he can see his opponents anywhere, but shots fired with the car 98 ain't going to grant him a lot. 
Two of you are scoping out still. Quick map hungry for these kills. He's going up against Simsy, and that was close. You heard it ting, but he can't make it ding in his head. It's not going to work out yet, but Simsy's under pressure from elsewhere, and they are spraying off towards him. Nate's thrown far, but I don't think they're going to fly far enough. Moon still alive, found himself a spot dead center in the circle. He's going to commit to that shack, and he's not going to move before forced to do so. 2-0 as well, trying to deal with Simsy, but he's not making it easy for them. I think the vehicle's already blown up, right? <laughs> I have sure. no idea from that smoke. More nades going out, though, and now it's Desperado looking to take some of the Besiktas players. They found themselves pinned in between Desperado 7 and Quick Map here, which is less than ideal. Peltage will be found, though, and it's Oko back up to his old tricks again, picking up all the kills. And at this point, I just think he's a one-man army. He is not afraid of anything, that's for sure. He's going full speed forward. Think doing damage, but now Moon does go down. Unfortunately, that's their track the crate. Doink. Recent pickup and fix. He said he's gonna drive on over, get himself a freebie because he is literally all by himself. Not a bad pickup at all. Having the old MK14 to use. Tozera still trying to deal away with Tom Hill, who's taken a lot of damage. Obviously, healed himself back up into it, and Tozera doesn't want to push on it too far. And it's seven who are now gonna take some additional shots at him. Yeah, he has to back off and get down that hill because when we saw Fake commit to the crate, that means that their team are indeed yes. split there quite thinly, but they do have the entire eastern side of the circle to work around. Next circle, though, where are we going? As you can see, again, as I said before, over by South Sarah, that whole area is inaccessible, but we are going back up north, and this is everything for AK wished not to happen. They will need to have to cross that road eventually, but how do they do it? Where do they do it from? They are in for a tough rotation here. Just to make their lives harder. Avangar still alive. Avangar picked up kills. At least one for sure. Ooh, Moonride. All right. Double Naughty. Tap. That's the way to get it done. How much more can you get done, though? Aaliyah taking a few shots out. Nade's going up as well. Example's going to be pressured here by Resu. They're trying to play it smart and keep the distance away from them. Resu's seeing a lot of information here. But is he going to be aware of Compot? I think they know that he's positioned down here. Wow. We won't know, though. Oko again. It's always him stepping up, standing out, getting the job done, and he'll also finish off example. See Oko trying to hold the angle. Aaliyah's still up high, but now Riddle gets the eyes on this. And again, we're talking 18 points now. In total, they need to start getting some kills here. 19. Now it's top gets 19, off. correct. Quick math. Good job, James. I feel so proud. Mm -hmm, it should be. Oh, thank you, Dad. I'm gonna miss you too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss all of this. This has been an awesome phase two, and what a way for it to come down to this. Riddle currently with zero points means they are still chasing Avangard just the same as 4 AKR. Avangard with two players, just Maxor and Tok left alive, are fighting for survival to stop these other teams from having a chance in it. Yeah. And uh, fortunately, I mean, had it been five or six kills, wouldn't be the biggest difference. But here, when it's th oh. that many kills, it just makes things that much harder. Well, Loxy's going to get finished off. Frank finds himself the kill there. Tomley's going to go down and out as well. Tomley had a great week and really, really good day yesterday as well. Him and Sims, he were just racking up kills all over the place. So he's going to go into, uh, well, into the land event, seemingly very confident and satisfied with what he's been able to achieve. And at the beginning of this week, they were in eighth place. They're now in second. That's a huge boost yeah, up. We're just, just looking at the money you get from it, right? Mm -hmm. Let alone when they go over to Berlin as well. That is very impressive for sure. Game Legion, still ball guys alive. That's always good. Ain't nobody going to be complaining about that. Considering, yeah, the majority of their places over the last two days have been probably 12th and worse consistently. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's a viable reason for it. They are playing with their coach on the yes. full team. But seeing him alive now is a strong sign, and a strong Ooh. sign and strong shots coming out from Havoki onto the deep, and this is exactly what 4AK need. And then some more to it. Important kills coming in, but the only thing is that they're starting to get shot at by Desperados as well now, meaning they're getting pinned in between two pretty damn successful teams when it comes to shooting. And Quasi in this compound. Oh, no, fish, you better damn clear the whole thing before you start shooting elsewhere. As he backs away just a little bit, wants to hold a different angle here. I like the play. Pushes forward once he hears these shots starting to take place. If he comes out now, this could be huge. 
This is so scary for 4AK. Quizzy right on the edge of it. The door gets opened up. He runs oh! right into him and Northwest does it. Northwest finds it and they'll pick up the kill. No problems at all. Quizzy tried to play that so smart, but you can never predict that. They pressed to open the door at the exact same time, which meant that it didn't work for either of them. And that way Northwest knew there was one on the other side once he opened it his way the second time around. Wow, had he been just a half second earlier, that would most likely have been a double for Quizzy because he's not one to miss those types of oh, opportunities. No. Very fortunate for 4AK, and now they get even one more down. Of course, the rotation is not guaranteed yet, and there's only two kills so far. They need another seven kills and a win in order to surpass uh, Avangar, who are still alive and kicking. They certainly are still alive and kicking, but only with two players. Mm -hmm. They've got themselves small huts to hide in for now but as we move further forward it's going to be harder and harder for them to stay hidden see so you're trying to hold the angle up here from above riddle as well technically a chance for them to make it in they have had some good out of nowhere performances and uh We'll see if they can do it here. Moon spotted. He's going to go down as well. And that's going to be it for Windside. Not a whole lot more they could do despite having a good second place game earlier. That made things look interesting for a while. Weren't able to pull things off in the last two. And they'll get finished off in the bottom. Oh, Ronnie. He's up there getting knocked. Mm -hmm. And Navoki's going to get the kill. There's more coming the way of 4AK. They're trying to dispatch of Desperado. But Nixty's going down. Yeah. They need to keep a big eye on what is actually going on here. They can't afford to lose out too much. Ronnie under heavy pressure. He's going to go down as well. His teammates aren't close enough to help him and keep him alive. He'll be finished off. And this is not what they would have wanted. Northern Lights will be eliminated as well. But this is it for yeah. 4AK. The game is over. The jig is up. Unless Northwest can pull off <laughs> some incredible... <laughs> heroics <laughs> that would be uh, i'll be honest and say that probably be too much to ask for north was gonna get another seven kills and win the game by yourself i highly doubt that's gonna happen and the flip side of things sucked in i'm having a hard time doing anything here as they're trying to push down the hill them as well but they as well have themselves a hard rotation to make vasco is tanking the blue he's trying to heal up and I don't think he's going to get to go anywhere. Look at the damage the blue is already doing. And him being spotted out should take him down. Give it, though. Does fall. So alive, at least for now. Nade's going out as well. He's trying to do anything he can to just keep it going. Vasku very low on health. Going to try and get the finish off in. <laughs> and he does it, but then he dies. And it's not the end of the world because Zen are number one at the moment. And it's very unlikely yep. that they will be taken down from that position. Riddle, they have woken up. Now starting to get some kills. They finish off argue, arguably... The um, the tougher opponent to deal with in the Moonwolf squad, at least off of the kills yeah. he's been able to accumulate over the last couple of games. Northwest does go down for AK. Gotta give it to you. Huge congrats on a very, very good day of PUBG. But yeah. unfortunately, they fall short. And uh, I am going to be extremely excited to see what they'll be able to bring in for Phase 3. Yeah, this is... Them stepping up at the last moment For sure. shows us that they can make it competitive. They will not go down without a fight. They jumped up from at one point being in 16th place, then to 15th, and now working their way up to 13th. It isn't going to be pretty for them when they look back at this, but then they'll be able to say, okay, what can we take from it going into the next phase? Had it been yesterday, had yeah. it been the day yeah. before, had it been any other day, there would have been a realistic chance of them to make it. It simply just happened too late, unfortunately. But of course... Keep it in mind when you go into next uh, next phase that you did have good performances and you can indeed play against the best. Moonwolf are going to go straight up towards Clib here. Riddle need the kills and now they're committing to it. I like it. Molly goes down in front of him. Aaliyah is still alive too and that could be the difference maker in this engagement because he's going to be able to go in without either of them knowing where he is. We need a home go down at the hands of Game Allegiant in 10th. So that's their tournament over for now. Ooh! <laughs> right on his feet, Cliff gets away from that one. Got to keep in mind that Evan guys in it, and we're just one team elimination away from placement points. So as long as Evan guys stays alive, oh, things are going to be hard. Cliff comes around the corner, finds one. Still one more to deal oh. with, but he's going to go down. Rizzo stays alive, but he's going to go down. Plenty kills coming in now for Riddle. But with every kill they get that is not Evan guy, it means that they get placement points too. Yeah, it's helping each other out at the moment. Mm-hmm. 
Riddle have a lot to do if they want to turn this around. Desperado, they've been fighting down in the south for the longest time where it's not worked out well for them. And Jupzig's the one to do it, but they're not going to be able to take him out just yet. Yep. Fake's having a look for him. Should be able to use this very well against him, but more nades coming back up. Talk does go down now. Max is all still alive, but the fact that both Seven and Evanga are still in it means that every single time Riddle eliminates a team goes in vain because uh, they're just making it harder for themselves, technically. Jupes expending that utility, but is now going to come over the top. Will he be able to fight them off at all here? He continues to make the push, spots out fake, but more nades are going out towards him. He's managing to avoid most of the damage. He's standing strong. Avangar have now gone out in eighth, though, while this has all been happening. Both has gone down. Henny is knocked as well. The res is coming in, and Aaliyah, we talked about Aaliyah. What effect could you have in all of this? Well, too much, it seems like Sinsen is trying to hold the angle while Yord, while Yord is resting. And now Jupsik here, trying to get something done against Desperados too. This battle down in the south between Jupsik and the two Desperado mm -hmm. players is crazy. They're just dancing around each other. And Jupsik needs to be careful because Game Legion, they're going to take some shots at him as well. This new circle pop is going to go found. He's the Leah does get found and that's going to be somewhat of a sigh of relief for Riddle. Now it's all in their own hands. Avangar out seven, you don't have to deal Ooh. with anyway. And Simsy, why not just land that one too? Simpson gonna get himself knocked and that's gonna allow for Gamer Legion now to push up towards them. And this is huge because Gamer Legion can just push on Riddle and outnumber him massively. They're all getting picked off. But York, he's not done yet. He wants to try and hold on to it. But Riddle are only going to manage a fifth place in there. They have not done enough. They didn't get enough kills. And Avangar are safe. That is very, very, very crazy to have everything come down to this final game. But Riddle, as you said, James Fall, just short. Again, had it been yesterday, had it been the day yeah. before, you could have come into this day and saying, you know what, it's just those seven, eight, nine points. We can do this, guys. But the difference was a bit too big. And now, well, Pesictus, they got themselves the first win of finals last night. And let's see if they can get themselves one more. Fake trying to save on his teammate there. Throws out the grenade, hopes he's going to come back, kills himself up, and Calvin and Klein will just... Crawl his way to a bit of a revive coming in. But for how long will he be able to stay up? Because seven, they know exactly what's going on. Yeah, they're pushing around the side. Krabik knows he's in there, but there are people above Ooh. as well. And I was just going to say, Magan had a good angle. Does manage to find himself his opponent. Veelan gets the flush in as well. So good damage and kills coming in from Game of Legion. And they've started racking up some points here too. How good would it be, right? They just had a fifth place of one kill, mm -hmm. Game of Legion, because of the snake in it up. Imagine yep. if they can take a win with their coach in play. That is going to be a huge confident boost for, well, if ever anything happens to any player, they know that they can have Velen come and uh, come and step up. He just needs to warm up, right? He's had two oh, days of this. Yeah, oh, I haven't played for a while. I just, oh, I just needed to get He's uh, like, you know, when ready. I'm coaching and when I'm playing, it's a different yeah. mentality. I just yeah, have to adjust course. quickly. And all, that's why I'm saying you would rather have those six games of adjustment with, I know we're making a little bit of fun about it, but if that's the case, which it could be, you would rather have those games played now than later. Simsy, he has done it before. He has pulled off crazy things, oh, but it's no. going to be too hard for him. Game of Legion weren't going to let him have it easy, and he's going to go down. I was thinking that was going to be Simsy <laughs> shining up again <laughs> and showing us how to do it, but it's not going to work out this time. He will get one kill, though, onto mm -hmm. McCann. And now we're going to look at what Ultra can do, because he's the only Besiktas player left in it. There's only Desperado's fake here as well. He does have the level 3 gear to play with, though, which might help him out a fair bit. Got to give it to Game of Legion. I mean, they were sitting in fourth, I believe, coming into this. They could get themselves a third place. And again, as we said, I mean, sure, it won't change a lot as far as uh, Berlin goes, because they'll go anyway. But That's as you said huge. There, it's money on the line, and Desperado's plenty of kills. Fake securing the 10th for the team. That's crazy. Frank is now on his own. Fakes close by. Game of Legion are up high. VLAN not looking around <laughs> just yet. Frank waiting for the shot, but it's Fake who's going to be able to do it. Yep. Desperado Fake. He just believes that he will take anyone down that comes close to him, and Frank must be shaking in his boots. Fake drove to the shack, took the crate, and he's going to be happy with that. Now he does have a run to make, and you can see Frank is waiting for him to leave that building because he knows exactly where he is, but the smokes are lined up. There's a bit of a gap in the middle, and that's right here. Shots are coming in, and that's going to be the difference maker. You've got to always make sure to throw those smokes where you have to because leave the smallest gap, and Prost will indeed see it. Another kill picked up for Game of Legion either way, and now it is three members of Game of Legion against Besiktas Ultra and seven eSports Frank. We haven't really given Ultra a chance to pull off crazy one-man performances yet. So maybe this is the time, Ultra. He knows he's never needed to because <laughs> he's got Simsy and Tom Hill to do it. But that when needed, 
He will do it. So mm -hmm. Ultra, there is still a chance. Show us what you got. Well, Game of Legion, they'll have to push down this hill eventually. The only thing for Ultra is that he will have to commit to the push underneath because if he starts running up the hill now, that's only going to make things harder in the end of things. I like the Game of Legion sticking together, though. I just hope they yep. keep an eye on where Ultra might poke from because he has the potential to flank them in a massive way here. Frank's going to be spotted out. He takes the first few shots. He can't make him connect. Then he sadly pushes himself in the blue to take a bit of damage, but it's not massive amounts directly. He didn't survive oh. in multiple ticks. Ultra out there as well. Frank trying to land the shot, but it wasn't meant to be. If Vreeland heard that, that could potentially pinpoint them knowing where the last player could be as well. Of course, they're playing it extremely cautiously. They know it's 2v1v1, having seen both Besiktas players and Seven being alive late. Vlan around the corner does spot out Frank, but it's not going to be able to get damage done. A yeah, little shoulder peek there from Vlan gave away the position before Frank could react. No shots landed just yet. Frank is under pressure. He deals Ooh. the damage onto one, manages to get the <laughs> knock, but Fex is ready on the refrag. In the meantime, Ultra has thrown five smokes and just stays down there. <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, nope. You can come to me later if you want to, but he had a chance at a 1v2 here. Now it's going to be a 1v3, and well, since he pulled it off yesterday, Ultra, what can you do here? Besiktas, they have done this before. And Game of Legion, they have been a team to, well, back in the groups, they just throw potential wins, but it's not going to happen this time around. Game of Legion will secure the final kill and final win of the tournament. It'd be nice to see where they end up on the standings with that one. That's a good feat for Game of Legion. We say it with their coach, VLAN, coming in. 11 kills and a win are not a bad way to end Phase 2. And they had a very strong Phase 2 compared to what we saw from them in Phase yeah. 1. I'm excited to see what they can do in Berlin. But that's it. We're going to get our final highlights of Phase 2, Toby. We need some sad, depressing, like, unhappy music that it's all over and it's all done with. Then some celebration music for the team. I was going to say, we can't be all sad, right? No, no, no. Then we get celebration music. I'm doing my movie mitt, man. Come on. Oh, yeah, true. Then it's we have like... the celebration bit for the 12 teams that made it for the Berlin. Then we say for the other four teams, don't worry. You come back next time. It will be fine. And then we we touch each other. We hold hands. We... <laughs> James, I don't want to be part of this movie anymore. <laughs> I think I think I'll let I think I'll let you you make that with someone else now. That uh, yep. I was gonna say we're gonna mm -hmm. just like walk off into the into the moonlight. <laughs> holding no, hands. Yes, no touching each other or walking into moonlight. I think I'll I'll let you have that and then I'll talk PUBG instead because that's yeah that's um huh way to ruin an ending. <laughs> Thanks, Toby. Someone else will you hold my hand. You said it. You were the one who said it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard <laughs> men love. That's exactly it. See, producer Tim, uh, producer Tim understands me. Mm -hmm. straight, straight people can love guys as well. That is true. That is true. There you go. Bromance is a real thing. Exactly. In any case, this has <laughs> been, uh, for all you guys watching, it really, I mean, on I, I think I can say both on behalf of you and me, James, it's been a joy, a huge joy to get to do this. Yeah. Another, it, another phase, and this phase has been... Just a step above what we had in phase. Phase one, we yeah, loved. It was so exciting, so many moments. But phase two, delivered to me that competitive PUBG is here and it is here to stay. And there are so many new faces that we have not seen from yet with individual skill and ability who deserve to be here as well. There was no team in these finals that didn't at some point positively, not necessarily surprise us, but mm -hmm. impress us. We need a home, sure, they finish off in last place, yep. but they had a good group stage. They were getting wins, they were getting things done, Such and then things turn stage. around, they had a hard time in the finals, sure. Whether it's because they start changing up players when maybe their team synergy-wise wasn't ready for it, yep. we don't know. We'll have to look into that coming into the next phase, but... Um, but just overall, it's been a crazy phase, and overall, as you said, James, very, very needed to point that out, too. From what we've seen with some of these teams that were in Phase 1 as well, to yep. where they all are now, I cannot point out one team that hasn't massively improved. I really can't wait to see what it's going to offer in Berlin for our 12 teams that are going to make it. And we will soon show you the 12 teams that are going to make it. But for mm -hmm. now, the last game of Phase 2. 48 matches here in the final stages, and Gamer Legion take that win with Desperado close behind them with a 10-kill game. And the fact that Besiktas is up there, too, to me, that just kind of solidifies something. We had our doubts at one point. They were in a downhill spiral. Yeah, massively. But this week, they have bounced back, and they've bounced back massively. So, uh, I mean, these three teams alongside alongside Sok Nam, those are going to be three of my, or four of my 
potential five teams that could have very, very solid chance of making it in. And I really want to see if we get a different looking Avangar when it comes to Berlin. Mm -hmm. Because that is the biggest, I hate to say it, but they have been the biggest disappointment overall. Because seven as well. Yeah, se both Seven and Avangar have been, oh, we praised them so highly. Oh, they were good in group stages. Oh, Seven was good in kickoff cup. And then it's come to final stage and they just weren't able to figure it out. Not at all, but hopefully, hopefully coming into that. And that's, of course, during the next week. Yeah. It's going to be real soon. So you get all the open league um, from um, from Monday to Friday. And yep. then starting from the week after that, it's going to be all about these guys on your screens right now fighting for that PEL spot. So here we have it. Avangar managed to be the final team in 12th place just by the skin of their teeth. For AK, a phenomenal day overall. We can't praise them enough for what they managed to achieve. Mm -hmm. But your final 12 teams going to Berlin start with Zoken Nam, Besiktas Esports, Gamer Legion, Tornado Energy, Northern Lights, Desperado, Quick Math, No Tag Team, PG18, Moonwolf, Seven Esports, and Avangar. And Moonwolf and PG18, you may have been in ninth and tenth now, but you two, as teams in general, that we started to see more from this summer round. They did really impress us across the entire phase, group stages and final stage, just in many individual ways. Oko, obviously a stand-up player for Moonwolf, mm. but he needs the team there to back him up to enable him to do that. The highest person in getting kills across the entire phase. That's an achievement of its own for his first run of contenders there. Yeah, I am crazy excited to see what these guys can do against. We don't yeah. know yet, but the four guys they'll be playing tomorrow, the day after, and Sunday. What a side. Orchard in PEL. Oh, yes. I cannot wait to see, first of all, which four teams, and also how these guys will fare, not only yeah. against tougher opponents, but on LAN, in a LAN environment. Because some of them have that land experience, but a lot of them, mm -hmm. they don't. And uh, that's where it gets it's real different. pressure pointed. It's such a different scenario playing on land. I remember my first land when I was 13 years old, and I managed to get to a stage game, and it's a completely different environment. Mm. Your, your adrenaline's going, your heart's racing. It's not an easy adjustment from just playing at home. Not but at that's what this is all about if they want to be there. Toby, we're done. Phase two is over. Thank you so much, as always, guys, for being with us, for enjoying it all, for watching the games. Remember this weekend, watch the final week of PEL because that will determine the teams that will go up against the teams. The top 12 teams you just saw there qualify to Berlin, and that is going to be magical, so you will not want to miss it. Toby, we're done. I'll grab this hand. There we go. See you guys <laughs> in phase three.